Here are some paper constructions that are fun to make. And I think they're rather pretty. There are seven different designs here that you can try building. Each is made from one kind of regular polygon with slots on them for assembly. The first one is made from 20 equilateral triangles of five different colors. To understand the underlying mathematics, start with the regular icosahedron. It consists of 20 triangles, five at each vertex. Then rotate each triangle 60 degrees, so instead of meeting edge to edge, they overlap through each other. Notice how just above the center of each triangle, three vertices of the neighboring three triangles meet at a point. And the edges outline lovely stars around each of the 12 openings. So the triangle template has three slots going halfway across the line of intersection, which is what allows the physical paper to pass through its neighboring triangles. To assemble this, we cut out 20 triangles with the slots. You could do it all in one color, but here I made four triangles in each of five colors. This is the easiest one of these seven designs to assemble. You just connect the slots, being sure to have the points on the outside. I'm following a particular coloring pattern, so all five colors appear around each pentagonal opening. That takes some planning, and I'll leave that to you as a puzzle. When complete, see if you can find the edges of a cube. In fact, you can find the edges of five cubes at once. Here's a second construction, which is very similar. It consists of 20 regular hexagons. You can also understand it by starting with a regular icosahedron, but now we expand and adjust each triangular face to have six vertices instead of three, arranged as a regular hexagon. They pass through each other and can be scaled and oriented so their vertices meet and their edges outline small stars. The hexagon template also has slots halfway across the line of intersection, allowing them to pass through each other. You can assemble it with five colors, so all five colors appear around each star in a different cyclic order. This third construction is made from 12 decagons. That's regular 10-sided polygons. To understand it mathematically, just start with the regular dodecahedron, which consists of 12 pentagons. Then expand and adjust the pentagons until there are 10 vertices instead of five, arranged as a regular decagon. Again, they pass through each other and can be positioned and scaled so the vertices meet. The decagon template has five slots, again to allow the physical paper to pass through its neighbors. It's trickier to assemble. I'm using six colors for this one, so opposite faces can be the same color, and each face is surrounded by five other colors. After you slide two pieces together, you also have to slide in a third piece which joins in the same way with each of the first two. When you get the overlap right, there's a small three-colored triangle in the center of the three-way connection. You want to be sure you have that little triangle at every three-way connection. When complete, this is an extremely solid ball with no glue or tape required to hold it together. This next one is made of 30 squares. There are five colors arranged so all five appear around each star. Again, there are small triangles where the parts overlap each other at the three-way intersections. It's very important to assemble those little triangles correctly as they keep everything from falling apart. This one is derived from the rhombic tricontahedron. That's a polyhedron consisting of 30 rhombi. In the plane of each rhombus, we can modify the shape of the quadrilateral to be square, positioned to outline stars around the openings. So the template has four slots in each square. You'll need five sets of six, one in each of five colors. The remaining three constructions are all based on the dodecahedron made with six colors. Opposite faces are the same color. This one's built from overlapping pentagons. It derives from the regular dodecahedron in a very simple manner. Just make the faces larger without even rotating them until they meet at their vertices to make large stars. So the template is just what you might expect. A bit trickier is this design made of decagrams, 10-sided stars. But it's derived in a similar way, starting with the dodecahedron, modifying the shape of all the faces, staying in the same 12 planes. There are lots of variations one could make, but the one I chose here has stars in which the edges connect every third of the 10 points.
Based on how the decagrams intersect, we can work out where the five slots must be in the template. And finally, the trickiest of these seven to assemble is this one made from 12 pentagrams. So build this one last. It's a straightforward modification of the dodecahedron. Each pentagon is morphed into a star in a very natural manner. But the way they intersect requires a double slot along each line of intersection. And the long thin points are tricky to weave through each other and keep planar. If you can build all seven of these constructions, you'll have a nice collection that you might hang from strings and display. I hope you have fun working on these.